Have you ever had a chargeback request for your Shopify store before, but you aren't really sure what it is or what to do next? No worries, we have got you covered because in this video we're going to talk about exactly what a chargeback request is as well as how to prevent future chargeback requests from your Shopify store, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Elle McCann, owner of Curious Themes Web Development Studio in Nashville, Tennessee, and we have been Shopify experts for over five years now. One of the questions I get a lot is, what exactly is a chargeback? So a chargeback is any time a bank reports to Shopify and is trying to receive money back on a fraudulent charge. So that fraudulent charge could be that the purchase was actually done with a stolen credit card. So the customer had no idea that their purchase was being made on your store. Or it could be that they never received the item and instead of contacting you for a refund, they instead contacted their bank and marked it as a fraudulent charge. So this can happen sometimes, especially with stolen credit cards, identity theft, those kind of issues. And it can be a big thing for a store that's actually shipping out physical product. Because if you think about it, if you have a chargeback request, which means that you potentially may have to refund the money to the customer, if you've already sent out that item, then you're losing the cost of the item and the shipping and all of that already. So you wanna make sure that you're gonna have as few of fraudulent charges coming through your store as possible. So let's go ahead and we're gonna hop into my computer now. I'm gonna show you exactly how to deal with the chargeback request in your Shopify store backend once it comes in as well as ways to prevent more chargeback requests from happening. So we are now in my Shopify backend admin of my Shopify store. And so you can see here instantly on the home page that I do have one chargeback to review. So Shopify is already putting that there to remind me. So I'm going to just click in on this and you can see all of your orders that are open currently with a chargeback request. So I can come in now and click on this one right here. And we'll see the information at the top. So the customer opened the chargeback. So again, that could be the bank trying to get the money back for a fraudulent order. So Shopify will automatically submit this information for you, but it submits it a little bit further out. So if you want it to be done a little bit prompter, you can go in and follow these steps to submit the response. So we'll just go ahead and click submit response here. And so now you can see the information here. So you can see the, the chargeback reason is fraudulent. The customer told their bank that it was fraudulent and has returned the money to them as well as charged a fee. So it's really important to make sure that you're trying to get as much of these orders cut back on as possible. So you'll come in now and you'll fill out all this information in terms of the explanation of what information you have for the order that was placed and you can send that on to the bank. So once you do this all and fill all of this out, you'll then come up here to the top and hit submit response. So again, I'll still need to take some time to go in and fill out all of this information so that we can make sure we can potentially get the request back as well as not potentially have to pay the $15 fee. Now the best way to go through moving forward to make sure that you aren't gonna get as many chargeback requests is to make sure that you are declining charges that seem fraudulent. So Shopify will actually put in a little description of if it's matching fraudulent orders that it's noticed online, but you can go in and have your system set up to automatically decline those purchases. So we can do that by going to settings and payment providers. And I use Shopify payments as my payment provider. So we're just gonna click here to edit. And in this fraud prevention area, I'm going to choose to decline the charges that fail the CVV verification, which is that three digit code on the credit card, as well as decline the charges that fail zip code verification as well. So that's trying to make sure that the billing address matches. So these are the two common ways that people 
will not have all of the information if they're putting in a fraudulent order. So you can potentially go in and just completely decline that order without even you know, accepting the money, it coming back as fraudulent, and you having to go through this ordeal. So I definitely recommend turning this on, and then I'm just gonna hit save. And we can see now that it has successfully saved our payment information. And so now you'll be able to have that fraud analysis already be done by Shopify, but decline it if it doesn't meet those. So that way you hopefully get less chargeback attempts moving forward. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe below and check out our next video over here that we think that you'll like called top three reasons why you aren't making money online. Some of it's a little bit hard to hear. However, once you make these changes, you can start seeing sales and traffic to your Shopify store. So check it out.